listen to this episode if you are looking for some major visibility on your Instagram through Instagram Reels. Now I have had so many people say that visibility is down, reach is down. I am getting so frustrated with posting all of this, these Reels, creating all of this content. Why is the algorithm just absolutely hating me right now on Instagram? First things first, I just want to tell you that you are not alone. I think this is a pretty universal feeling right now. I have clients that have 100,000 followers that are feeling this. I have clients that have 50,000 followers that are feeling this. I have friends that have been in the industry for 10 years and they're like, I, it's literally the doldrums out there right now. I literally have visibility specialists saying, I would honestly go on other platforms for your top of funnel marketing. Um, there are a lot of things out there that are just kind of against you with the algorithm. And this might be shocking for some of you who are used to being in my world. Why? Because I say, don't worry about the algorithm. Strategy always trumps algorithm, which is absolutely true. But when it comes to visibility, you do have to be incredibly um, have to be incredibly strategic around what you're doing and understanding what is working and what is not currently. So today we're going to talk about the major formats of reels that I am seeing gain traction. Some of my clients, I have had clients since November gain 50,000 followers from Instagram reels alone. Um, I have had clients that have gone massively viral that have gotten a lot of traction on it. And I have some clients that their profile is just really, really struggling to, to bring that visibility there. Now there's a lot of different things that I could talk about here of what it means to go elsewhere for that top of funnel visibility. Um, but today we're going to talk about if you really are looking on Instagram reels specifically, what does this look like? Um, I'm talking about specifically quarter one, 2024, and you already know that I always say to lead with strategy and the algorithm stuff can be like the perfect cherry on top. Why is because strategy will outlive algorithms every single day. Anybody that's teaching you go viral with this one quick trending audio or go viral with this one thing or the 10, this has under 10K aud audios, like you need to go and do this. All of that hacky stuff is just going for the short term. You're just trying to build, get either some quick views or you're trying to hack the system where you will never be able to repeat it at that point, nor would you be able to make sure that this is actually going out to aligned people. The goal is not virality. The goal is to hit aligned people. I would rather you get 10,000 aligned like views on a reel then it go massively viral to a side of the internet that you don't want in your audience that has no interest in your product. So I am still always leading with strategy. What we're going to talk about today has a lot of strategy behind it. I'm not going to really dive into those strategies too much, but some of what I'm going to talk about today is a little algorithm -y because when we're talking about visibility, the cherry on top that you need to understand is how the platform works in order to really get out there. It's just like with Google and SEO. Yes, there's strategy behind it of how to actually convert people. And then there's a Google algorithm that you kind of have to follow in order to get visibility uh, through SEO. So it's very similar platform to platform. Everything is very, is, is different from an algorithm sense, from an etiquette sense on the different platforms. Um, and I say in Q1 because content has goes through trends. It's the rate of adoption that when too many people do this style of content, all of a sudden it goes through trends and ebbs and flows. It goes kind of out of trend, new, something new comes in it, like it was dancing reels for a long time and then it was like pointing at different stuff if you see somebody pointing at bubbles right now or if you're pointing at bubbles that is an outdated form of content um if you like and then it was kind of like a lot of just the aesthetic videos and then it was the pov videos are super popular um now it's kind of a lot of like get ready with me it's like there'll be a point where get ready with me it will be out of style um out of like out of trend i guess not really out of style but there will be a t point in time when we go through that whole trend that it's really popular. So some, so content does have trends. Strategy does not have trends, which is why we want to stick with strategy. Um, but using things that are trending can help you with visibility because people like to see trends. It's like consumer behavior. You're giving people what they want a little bit on the app. Um, so without further ado, we're going to dive on in. Welcome to another episode of the Small Business Growth Podcast. I'm your host, Madison Page, and I am so glad that you are here. If you are new here, make sure that you subscribe. We put out new episodes every Tuesday and Friday. I was doing some data, a little analytics the other day, and I saw that only 75%, um, actually it's only 25% of people that listen on a daily basis or on like a weekly basis 
the active listeners are actually subscribed. So you know what you're doing? You're wasting your sweet little time typing in my name every time. Instead, hit follow. It also helps me out so dang much to get this podcast out to other people. So let's dive in and chat about some Instagram reels that are highly converting for visibility right now. Why I specify for visibility is because you can create Instagram reels for other purposes than just visibility. There are reels you need to be posting posting to nurture and reels to be posting to sell as well that are not visibility reels. There's some reels that are created to just get eyes. And that is what we are talking about today. Um, we are chatting about content that you need to be creating for this visibility, but it doesn't mean that you need to be creating all of them. It's the content that is converting, but it's okay if you pick one because that is the one that feels the best for you to create, the one that you are the most excited about. Now, not all of these need to be posted. You need to find the ones that you really like to create. You need to find the ones that fit your brand, your product, your style of content creation the best. That's really important. Like every creator does not create the exact same piece of content. And you'll see when I'm going through the four different styles is you'll see, okay, I know a creator that does this really well. I know a creator that does this really well. And kind of like going through those different ones. How you tell what you really enjoy doing is you need to post five to 10 of each of these over the next couple of weeks to months to see which ones perform the best with your audience you enjoy actually creating and that allows you to get up and over the hump of it being awkward for you. Like one of these is going to be talking straight to the camera. Your first one might be totally terrible, which is why I want you to create at least 10 before you say, nope, I hate talking to the camera. That doesn't feel good for me. Some people are super excited about talking to the camera. They, they come from a very educational background. That's awesome. Like me, I'm an educator. I love sitting down just like on my podcast is literally my favorite way to create content. And so a lot of times when I create content, it's literally just me chatting because I enjoy that form of content. I guess I just like to listen to myself talk. <laughs> but what we're doing, what you really need to do is trial and error and see which of these you like and that performs the best with your audience. So let's dive on into these four forms of content. The first one, you already know it, you see it, you've, you've seen them all over the place. It's the POV aesthetic videos. Basically, you're sharing some sort of value of your product, of your business that sets you apart. POV, you found a jewelry brand that X, Y, and Z. POV, you finally found a children's boutique that X, Y, and Z. POV, you're a girly that loves X, Y, and Z. And those are some hooks. You're going to have those on the screen, the entire video, and it's going to be some aesthetic background with something to do with your product being placed. Um, meaning like just the lifestyle video. It's like B-roll video of you with your product somewhere. Or even if you're just like a studio shot of your product, it is an aesthetic video that you have out there and you have POV or imagine if, or some just kind of like phrase that you are sharing the value of your business. Imagine if you had skincare that X, Y, and Z. Um, it's the same thing as kind of like the ins and outs or like I'm waiting for my girlies who looking for moms out there who X, Y, and Z. Basically what you're doing, you have the aesthetic, you're, you're really drawing in that visual brand and then you are reaching them, um, from that visual side. And then you're using your meaning, your differentiator, which if you don't have one of those, you need one. Um, to really call in the people that's going to make them really aligned. Now, everything we're talking about is how you can make them aligned. The next one is talking to camera education videos. Now, this doesn't need to be that you educating just on your product. This isn't, this is exactly how I um, apply my three step skincare routine. It can be, but it also can be this is why this ingredient in skincare is so important. This is, um, let's talk about some of the sustainability like struggles inside of the women's fashion industry. You can be talking about your industry, you can be talking about your product, whatever that is, sitting down, talking face to cam, and actually educating your audience on something to do with your product or your brand. This content is getting, uh, it's like the TikTok content. Don't make it over curated, literally take your phone, set it down, get yourself a little phone light. They make a huge difference and actually just chat, chat with your phone, chat as if you were FaceTiming a friend about this topic. It makes such a major difference. It gets people to, to see you, to understand who you are as the business owner. And you're getting a topic that you're kind of talking about and you're educating. People are on social media to educate and to connect. It's a great way to do both of those in one.
Next is have some sort of element of surprise and a reveal at the end of the video. This is great for artists. This is great for um, anybody that's like revealing a new pattern. You can, I want you in the beginning to say, um, reveal it, you know, like revealing my, my latest painting all about X, Y, and Z, or, um, this is how much time I've spent on this and what, like make it where they have to watch until the end of the video to actually see what you're doing. Um, there's a lot of different ways that you can do this, but why from an algorithm sense, this is really important is because of your watch time. Um, it makes it where people have to watch your video at least once all the way through to be able to actually understand what the video is about, which then means that, um, you're going to have a longer watch time. A lot of times in these other videos, um, in these other types, people just swipe right away when they're done with the video, especially in the talking to camera. If they have, if, if you lose their attention, which is a lot of strategy behind how to gain their attention and keep their attention. If you lose their attention, they'll swipe and that video won't, won't perform. And so with this, what you're trying to do is hold their attention through the six to eight to 10, whatever second video that you have, where they have to watch it in order to see the reveal. Um, and that means that your watch time will be really high, which then means it performs really well. So when you're revealing something, whether it's a new collection, a new pattern, um, something that you've been working on, a new art, whatever it might be, revealing that, making them watch all the way through, having some movement in the video so they can see it there as well. Last but not least is a looping reel. What these looping reels are is it has some sort of like melodic, uh, audio behind it that they don't really know that they've already watched the video once. It's text on the screen, some sort of like long form text, short video with an audio that sounds similar all the way through. So what it means is they're reading all of the text that you have on the screen and by the time they're done, they might have watched the video twice or three times, but they don't even know that the video has already gone all the way through. When you use an audio that people can clearly tell that like from start to finish and then like, you know, start over again, um, it means that a lot of times when people feel it's done, they'll just swipe even if they haven't read it. But if it is kind of melodic where they they don't really know if it's over, if it just is like, you know, the the similar um similar tone, similar music. I'm not a musician. I don't understand music very well. I took piano lessons for six years and can not even read music, but um whatever. They it just kind of keeps looping and they don't know that it's looping. And you have a bunch of text on the screen. So that that text can look something like explaining something about your product, talking about um like whatever, when I was creating my product and like kind of doing a storytelling, something like that. Um, number five, last but not least is a storytelling. Um, I am adding one because it popped in my head that it's not on the list. So I said it was the last one. This is now the last one. Number five is storytelling reels. These storytelling reels are actually bringing people through a story when you're having kind of like B roll content and you're voiceovering that content. You're making them have to stay till the end to really understand what that story is. So you can say, um, you know, the other day I was working with one of my, one of my, uh, customers on a custom art piece that she really wanted. And I wanted to bring you through the mood board that we designed and what it ended up looking like. This is kind of adding that element of surprise, but it's also adding that voiceover, that storytelling that makes people want to stay all the way through. You can be, this can also be, you know, talking to camera can be storytelling content or the reveal can be storytelling content, but this can be its own as well, where you really are just going through a story. Hey, when I was starting my business, um, I always felt X, Y, and Z. Now that I am a little bit more successful, I feel this way and it allows for uh, people that have to stay all the way through. You're using a lot of like B-roll content in the background. So there's a lot of movement that people are really watching. So you have POV aesthetic videos. You have talking to camera educational videos. You have some sort of element of surprise reveals. You have looping reels and then you have storytelling. Now what you could tell in a lot of what I just said is there was a lot of little things that I said to watch out for. You need hooks, you need movement, you need something in the beginning of your video to keep their attention. There's a lot that goes behind reels that get visibility, but this is the format of them that I want you to start playing with to see what really makes sense. When you're looking for major visibility on Instagram through Instagram reels, it takes strategy with a sprinkle of algorithm so you know that you are utilizing the platform and gaining the traction that the platform wants. It's not to say that you do one of these and you'll go viral. It's not to say that if you do one of these enough, you'll go viral. You actually don't even want to go viral. And I want to make that very clear. 
is you don't actually want to go viral. You are just looking to reach the right aligned people. It's really important for you to do that because I have clients that their profile has literally been trashed because they went viral and it didn't make sense anymore because their audience was like the totally wrong audience that didn't make sense for their brand. So um, you're looking to keep it aligned using like keywords and really speaking to your audience. How you do that is you need to know your audience, you need to know what sets your business apart, and you need to have really solid foundations and values behind your brand. Visibility takes practice. It takes analyzing the little things. It takes being different than what people are saying out there. And honestly, it takes a little bit of luck. And I'm going to say that wholeheartedly because there is a piece that my, some of my clients make some incredible content and they're struggling with their visibility right now. There's some other clients that can post a piece of content. They're like, man, it literally took me 10, 10 seconds to make and it gets some views. And so there's an element of luck to visibility, but there's also a major element of strategy. You need to pack it with strategy and then the hope and pray that you have a little bit of luck that really goes. But how you hack that luck is you need engagement on your content. If people aren't engaging on your content, it means your content isn't engaging. Um, it means you need to add some sort of engagement, something or other to prompt people. It needs to be more vulnerable. It needs to be more relatable. It needs to get more traction in some sense that makes people connect to it. You need to ask questions. It needs to be new. It needs to be unique. Problems that I see with people creating reels for visibility is A, they're doing everything that everybody else is doing because they see other art, other business owners doing it, other artists doing it. That's actually holding you back from going viral. Why? Because it's already been done. People have already seen it. They don't care to watch the same video again. You, when the minute that you take your creativity into your own hands and start creating the content that you have really wanted to be creating is the minute that you will start to see that traction. Why? Is because it's different. Because people want to see things they've never seen before. They don't want to be numb to the exact same content over and over and over again. Don't fall prey to it. The next one is, is poor quality video, poor quality, um, just like overall, people don't want to watch something that, that isn't, isn't over, like isn't quality. It, they, it, the quality does matter. The vision, like get a nice light, take some good videos and really make sure that you're focusing on that quality. Three, it's boring. It's boring as hell. You wait until 15, 20, 30 seconds into the video to actually give me what information the average attention span is under six minutes, six seconds. I mean, six seconds. That's less than a goldfish. Since COVID, our attention span has gone to under six seconds as an average human, especially with reels and TikTok coming out. So what that means, you need to grab attention in the first five seconds, have a hook, get people in there and make people want to watch it all the way through. Visibility comes down to strategy, uniqueness, and understanding the platform at a really strong degree. Um, if this is something that you are really looking at, we are we go into growing your audience on Instagram, really understanding Instagram reels for visibility in my program, BCL. It is a completely passive course. The price is increasing from $5.97 to $9.97 in the next couple of days to weeks when this comes out. Um, come hang out with me on Instagram at this is Madison Page, and you can be updated there uh, to make sure that you do grab it. We are adding uh, an entire module on visibility for reels. Break, my Breakthrough Content Lab course is the signature course to learn everything you need to know around content. DM me on Instagram, BCL, and I will send you some information because the price is increasing in the next couple of days to weeks when this is coming out. Um, and I would love for you to hop in there and really get the nitty gritty of the strategy, the algorithm, and everything you need to know in order to really understand this. Visibility is a game of consistency. It's a game of understanding strategy, understanding consumer behavior, understanding what your clients really want. But more than anything, it's creating content that is fun and feels good for you. Why? Because it will resonate better and it won't just be what everybody else is doing. When it's fun for you, it should be something that is very unique to you. It should be the content that you really love to do. So what I want you to do is to post five to ten of each of these five different um, formats over the next month or two of Instagram Reels. 
And what that means is I want you to then put, so not like five POVs in a row, I want you to cycle through them of POVs, talking to camera, reveals of some sort, looping, um, as well as storytelling, and see which ones that you enjoy once you get, once you get more comfortable with it. Um, see which ones you enjoy, see which ones you are really, uh, see performing, gets more engagement, and then start creating more content like that your content comes down to you really understanding what your audience wants to see, being unique, and having a lot of elements kind of in a row. Once you once you start creating content, you'll be like, oh my gosh, okay, like for visibility, we have to look at all of these little things. Um, I did a program once on visibility on Instagram, and the lady that was in there had this massive following, and I really was interested to just hear, and I like was so drawn to her content all the time, and something she said to me was, Maddie, you will create the content that people are drawn to, but it takes a lot of little elements. People don't understand how much people that go viral are analyzing what's going on. So look at your videos and see the ones that perform. What are the teeny tiny little themes in all of these videos? Do that and then you can kind of start to see what's working and replicate that from there. This episode could literally be an, an entire masterclass that I sell for a hundred bucks, two hundred dollars, because this episode is so action packed. It really dives in why am I doing this and giving you some really actionable strategies and things that I teach a lot of my clients is because I know so many people are struggling with reach and visibility. Make sure that you take this episode and you send it to your business bestie so you can help them provide them with the strategy that you just heard as well because helping other people is not adding more competition. It's actually helping everybody out to succeed and to have their dreams come true. Make sure that you send this episode to all of your business besties, put it in that Facebook group, put it in the group chat, uh, wherever you want. This, ep this episode really is so incredibly actionable with so many strategies that will help you gain that visibility in 2024 on Instagram. A lot of these similar things are working on TikTok as well and other short form content area places like Facebook and things like that. However, this is very Instagram specific. The algorithms are different and where how you see success is different on each platform. So what we're really looking for here is to play around. I want you to take this and the most important thing that you do with this episode is that you actually take action on it. I gave you so much strategy here for free and you just listened and soaked it all up, but now you need to take action on it. No more saying, but I don't like to show my face on Instagram. No more saying, but my house isn't aesthetic enough to create this style of video. No more saying that, well, like my audience just like doesn't like my content or whatever, the Instagram hates me. This is you hitting the reset button saying, I'm going to show my face. I'm going to put this stuff out there. My how I can create a more aesthetic place in my home. I have so many clients that think that their house isn't quote unquote aesthetic enough. And we build a studio inside of their space that makes their videos look that much better. You have space for that right now. If you have, you literally need two feet by two feet for a lot of products, I guess, depending on your products in order to make that happen. There are so many resources out there that you can make that happen for you. No more excuses. Get out there and implement this stuff. These five formats of Instagram reels are really, really important to test to see which is working for you in the visibility sake. Make sure that you open up your phone right now as long as you aren't driving. Click the three or click the little the little share button with a little box and a little arrow and send this right now to at least three of your business besties. Why? Because there was so much strategy. Everybody deserves to have it for free. And I really want you to succeed this year with visibility. And I know so many people are struggling. I hope this was helpful for you. Come hang out with me on Instagram at this is Madison Page. If you want more really in-depth trainings and even more in-depth on visibility and reels and what this really looks like, content strategy, DM me on Instagram. BCL and I'll send you the information on the Breakthrough Content Lab. Uh, that is really where my signature content course is for you to fully understand social media and to really know all of the things from strategy to algorithms as well as the foundational elements of your brand that you need to know in order to create content that does convert. Come hang out with me on Instagram. I hope you have a wonderful day. I love you. I'm rooting for you and I'm in your corner always.